Let's talk about catnip, baby. Who has a cat that doesn't have catnip? Pretty much it's kind of a universal thing. My cat should have something that they would love. They would love catnip, so I'm gonna give them catnip. Well, first of all, not so fast, my fine friends. We're gonna talk a little bit about catnip and the goods and the bads, and sometimes the uglies. But let's start with what is catnip? I actually think that most people who have cats, they think, okay, I gotta get some cat food and litter and everything, and I'll take a little catnip too. All cats love catnip. Not true, you guys, not true. A cat is genetically predisposed to either react or not react to catnip, and actually, 30% of all cats don't react at all to catnip. What is it about catnip that makes cats go nutty or sleepy or anywhere in between. It's called nepetalactone. It's, it's the ingredient that triggers that genetic response. What do I look like, a scientist to you? I'm not. I'm a guy who spends time with, you know, with cats. I'm running away, I'm running away, I'm running away, I'm running away. Oh, don't catch me, don't catch me. No, 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 I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. Actually, it's found that male cats actually respond more to uh, nepetalactone because its smell actually mimics that of the female urine. Yummy. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with any of this. Anyway, catnip is uh, an herb. It's actually in the mint family. And I, I think that we have found that cats have a very wide variety of experiences when it comes to catnip. I tend to be a little careful with catnip as I am with just about everything when it comes to your cats. Why is that? Because if you got two cats in your house, the chances are if they're both in that 70% that respond to catnip, they might have completely different reactions. It is something that lowers inhibitions. Running the risk of this being not the most politically correct thing in the world, I actually break these guys down into, you know, how does your cat respond to catnip? Are they a happy drunk or are they a mean drunk? Are they the ones who have a few drinks in them and then they're like, man, I love you, man. I, you're the best in the whole wide world. You know, is that them? Or are they trying to pick a fight out in the parking lot at 2 a.m.? But depending on who your cat is, if they are in that 70%, you can't bank on how they're gonna respond. Because if you have a cat who tends to be a little bit of a bully, I'm telling you, they're gonna be more of a bully when they're on catnip. And if they're maybe a little fearful, they might be a little more reactionary. These are all mites, but it's good to find out who your cat is and, and what their reaction is to catnip. Are you familiar? with my product. I've been told it's excellent. It is impeccable. It is the purest, most chemically sound product on the market. There, there's a big difference between catnip that is grown in your garden and the catnip that you'll buy at the store that is ground up and everything, and, and it, they advertise it as being the most crazy catnip, which it could be. I tend to be careful with that because again, we are talking about who is your cat. When it comes to the catnip that grows in your garden, them eating it and going to town on that catnip will have a much mellower effect than if they roll in it and breathe it and, and lick it and do whatever else. The nepetalactone is released much more when the catnip is crushed as opposed to when they're eating it. Those oils are really where it gets all catnip crazy. So, by the way, cats can't OD on catnip, nothing like that. Here's the thing, when they eat catnip, 10 to 15 minutes is how long the effect has a hold of them, and then it'll take a couple of hours before it'll actually work again. So I, I'm all for, whether it's their jackpot food or treats or catnip, don't just dish it out. Make sure it's part of an event. It's something that they're really gonna look forward to. They smell it, they're like, oh my God, I didn't get this since, you know, breakfast o'clock. We have these preconceived notions about what catnip is and what catnip is for cats, but here's some things you might not have known about catnip. Young kittens will not respond to catnip. It's been said that about six months old is when they'll start responding to catnip. Elderly cats also are not as prone to react to catnip as well. Why? Don't know. Big cats also respond to catnip. Tigers and lions, bobcats, again, a percentage of them, but they do. Another random fact about catnip is that in a liquid form, in a spray, it's actually more effective at repelling mosquitoes than DEET. And I can actually vouch for this. I've, I've actually sprayed that stuff on me and it's actually worked. It's less effective once it hits your skin, but hey, who's, who's quibbling? I mean, not only are the mosquitoes gonna stay away, but your cats are gonna be like, I love you even more than I did before. 
If your cat is one of those who doesn't respond to catnip at all, and even if they do, there are some other fun things for them to try. One of the most popular right now is called silver vine. And silver vine is, uh, it used to be a lot harder to come by, but over the last 10 years, it's become a lot easier. But that's because it was grown in places like China and Russia. It was very popular in Japanese gardens and, and that kind of thing, but making its way over here, it didn't. So when silver vine is crushed into, into sort of a powder in the same way that you would see catnip sold, man, cats love that stuff. As a matter of fact, more cats are responsive to silver vine than to catnip. I have some stats in front of me right here. A 2017 study showed that 80% of cats were responsive to silver vine as opposed to the 68% that were responsive to catnip. And 75% of the cats that were non-responsive to catnip were responsive to silver vine. It's worth a try. It has the same sort of effects sometimes. It can be exciting and sometimes a little sedating and all the time a whole lot of fun for cats, but it, it's much more widely available in places like, you know, Jackson Galaxy store, so check it out. Other alternatives that have become really popular, the first one that comes to mind is valerian root. Uh, now, valerian root for humans is sort of a sedative. It's it's not so much for cats. And, and again, I don't have the percentages, like how many cats, uh, what percentage of cats are responsive to valerian, but I can tell you it's a lot. But here's the buyer beware part of it. As much as cats love valerian, my cats love valerian. Humans, not so much because it is stinky. Like bad stinky, like you take some cheese and some socks and some other stuff and you put it in a plastic bag and you stick it out in the sun, kind of stinky. But if you really love your cats, <laughs> you should try valerian root. Also, another very popular herb that has been used with cats is tartarian honeysuckle. There's a couple of different types of honeysuckle. It's tartarian that cats respond to. Again, the same kind of response. The effect is nice, and it's always great to rotate these things out as well. Whether we're talking about tartarian honeysuckle, whether we're talking about silver vine, valerian, whew, and catnip, all of these things can be rotated into your cat's lives, and that way, just like with food, variety is the spice of life, and there's a lot of others. I will We'll tell you this, be careful. Some folks will be like, no, 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 try this for your cat. There are many oils that come off of plants that cats are completely intolerant to. There's a lot of flowers and a lot of plants that are completely toxic to cats. If you wanna see the scary truth about a lot of plants that are toxic to cats, right up there, check that out. So don't just take someone's word for it anecdotally. Make sure you're doing your due diligence, but rotate these things out. Let your cats have some fun. The world doesn't begin and end at catnip. There are a lot of alternatives, but it can be a lot lot of fun. Keep your cats active running around or just chilling out or somewhere in between. Try it. They might like it. And speaking of might liking it, maybe y your friends and your families might like this channel. In fact, some have said, meaning my wife, that my channel is like catnip for humans. So subscribe to the channel, pass this video along. I'll see you next time. Light, love, and mojo to you. Uh, that that does have to do with how the nipet, nip, nipetalactone, nipetalactone. The fact is that the nipet. <laughs> now I've got it with a British accent in my head. Nipetalactone. <laughs> the fact is that it's the oils in the nipet. You, when you're trying to use it in a sentence, it's just pointless. Nipetalactone. The nip. <laughs>